I met Bruce Lee in 1968 when I won the world championship in New York City at Madison Square Garden. So we started training in his backyard for like two years. mean let's work out you go oh, just like get, like you you, you, you just worked you out barbells together no, no punching bags and you know and kicking and kicking the bag and all this kind of stuff here but not fighting each other no you know i was a, i was a professional fighter <laughs> and he was not he no was a, mm -mm. but he was good he was good so you could have beaten him well i don't even know i yeah i didn't want to go there i didn't go and bruce just, didn't want to bruce you're being didn't, modest bruce didn't want to go there and i didn't want to go there Bruce, as a screen tough guy, you're going to have to suffer what all movie heroes suffered. Challenges from exhibitionists and nuts asking you to fight, challenging you to fight. It's already begun to happen, hasn't it? Yes, it has. How do you deal with it? When I first learned martial arts, I too have challenged many established instructors. And of course, some other challenging me also. The thing is, is that our exercise routine lasted about three hours, and it, would, it consisted of push-ups, sit-ups, uh, kick in the bag, sparring. When you two sparred, were you always gentlemen about it, or? Oh, no, yeah, we were gentlemen about it. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I was still a fighter at that time. So my competitiveness <laughs> was still there, uh, but uh, but no, the thing is, is that uh, we were respectful to each other as we as we worked out and sparred. No, uh, no, Bruce and I never fought. Fought, you know. I've, been, I've fought the best. I train with the best. I, kn I know great mar I know great martial artists, and there's, there's never been anybody, in my opinion, like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was unbelievable, mm -hmm. absolutely unbelievable, guys. You, you you don't know how great this guy was, but Bruce Lee was untouchable. The, yeah, this guy was, I, I, I don't, I, there's stories I know about Bruce Lee that I don't even share <laughs> because I have more, I have respect for the people, other people in the martial arts. And I, it's not necessary for me to name names. I know, I know who Bruce Lee sparred with. Yeah. I know. They won't tell you. But I know people he sparred with. I never mention their names either. John Doe the Great. <laughs> great champion. Okay. John Doe. Yeah. Who would, who would win out of a fight between uh, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris in your opinion? Oh, they did fight, and Bruce Lee won. That was yeah. a movie, though. No, no, no. Outside, behind that, but Chuck Norris would never, would never talk about that. He would never say anything. It, it's as if it didn't happen. But it, How do you know it happened? Oh, my, my, dad, my dad told me, and my dad was in contact with Bruce Lee. From uh, one of Bruce Lee's letters, Chuck Norris was actually uh, defeated by Bruce and became Bruce's student, even though, uh, you know, he didn't admit it. He didn't admit it after, you know, after Bruce died, you know. 